Today we're going to focus on page 14 in the English notes. So you are in the English notes. And we're going to focus on page 14. This goes along with page 13. There's the reading on page 13 because you need something to read to be able to have a text dependent analysis. So on page 14, we are using text-based evidence to support the analysis of the text. We need to monitor our understanding of a text by reading and annotating and restating the question or the prompt into a claim. The first thing that is important is reading the text. Like you, If you don't read it, there's nothing to analyze because you don't understand. So read page 13. We'll either read it in class or read it on your own. But then let's take a look at the prompt that's telling us what to look like, look at in the story. So prompts start off where they give you something either from the story or they make a general statement about some sort of reading skill. This one starts off, the author states, also known as the June solstice, it is the day when the North Pole is the most inclined towards the sun, allowing residents of the Northern Hemisphere to enjoy the longest day of the year. Write an essay analyzing how people celebrate the longest day of the year. Use evidence from the passage to support your response. Well, analyzing right here. This is the key word in every single text-dependent analysis. That word, you need to look for it, and it needs to jump out at you and just be like, hey, I'm here. This is what you're focusing on right here. This thing, this analyzing is what we're focusing on. So we need to focus on how people celebrate the longest day of the year. This is what our essay is about. Whatever comes right after analyzing, how people celebrate the longest day of the year. That is what our whole essay is going to be about. Anything else about the June, about the summer solstice, it doesn't really matter. The fact that it says, also known as the June solstice, it is the day when the North Pole is most inclined towards the sun, allowing residents of the Northern Hemisphere to enjoy the longest day of the year. I mean, that explains what it is, so that's part of my topic. But this right here, after analyzing, that's what I'm writing about. So analyze, it means to look closely. The other thing, the other vocab to know is as to annotate the text. That's when we're, oh, it's not letting me write where I need to. Hold please. Taking notes on the text. So we're gonna write right on the text. We're gonna take notes to help us. Okay, so now that we have this prompt, the next thing to do is to go back, and with taking notes in the text, is to go back in the text and find where they're talking about how people celebrate the summer solstice. As I'm reading the text, I find that the celebrations don't come until the last two paragraphs, so I need to find things in these last two paragraphs in terms of how things are actually being celebrated. So if I'm right here, the summer solstice with fun events worldwide. So one thing that I can say is that there's events worldwide. That might be good. One of the oldest and most revered at Stonehenge. Okay. That information is good right here. Every year, thousands of people. So it then tells you what they do at Stonehenge. So I would keep all of that together. I do love a highlighter. I love an online highlighter. I love an in-person highlighter. It helps you then find these things. But I'm looking and all that I'm highlighting are things I keep going back to this prompt and the prompt says how people celebrate the longest day of the year. Ooh, how do I know it's the longest day of the year? I might wanna look for that too. Let's focus on celebrate first, then longest day of the year. In Sweden, resonance. Okay, so. Going in the wrong direction. I'm going to do this a different color so it stands out. I know that they're two different things. Um, and this seems to go with it. All of this goes together. So this is another, this is all about celebration. That goes together. Then moves on to Poland. And in Poland, they have some paper lanterns. that in yellow and there 
there's some yoga in New York. And I'll do that a different color because it's a different fact. Maybe I'll go with some purple. Oh, that purple's really bright. Too much for me. Do that. Um, then there's a solstice festival in another town. And then there's one last. So here we go. I have a number of different, I think that I could go back to like a blue. There we go. I have a number of different celebrations that I've highlighted in these last packs. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six different celebrations that are mentioned. I don't need to write about all of them in my essay, but I have these options. And now that I've highlighted them and I found them, they're there for me. The other part of the prompt besides how people celebrate is the fact that it's the longest day of the year. And for that, um, I would go all the way back up to the top and I would highlight this and I think maybe I'll go, I'll go with a different blue here. The longest day of the year, I need to have something that says that it's the longest day. There's my proof from the article and there's lots of things that tell you about um, information about the longest day that you could also pull in. So once I read the prompt, I'm analyzing going back, marking up my text, looking for celebrations and proof that it's the longest day. Now I'm ready to take that information and plan out my intro. So this introduction needs the following elements, a sentence with a title, author, and genre. Well, the title, that's the title right here of the article. The title of the article is here. So I can put that there so that I have it. might need to shrink it. I want to fit it on one line just for typing to make sure everything fits. The author, let's go look. Does, is the author listed? Um, oh, down here. Here's the author because it tells me the source. Where was this information found? It was found online there. So I have this. What is the genre? Um, this is it's a it's informational it was found on dogo news so it's a news article it's the news so then an example of how i put this together in a sentence because i take these three that's what the example is taking these three putting it into a sentence so we could say um that Mira Dolasia informs readers in the article, comma, begin quotation. everything you need to know about the summer or winter solstice and more period and quotation. So I have my sentence here that's putting together title, author, genre into one. It's not necessarily in that order. I actually want author, genre, title to put it together into a sentence. I'm going to take that sentence and shrink it down a little bit. So then the next thing I need to do is a single sentence summary, 10 words or less about the whole article. So the summary tells about whole article. So for this one, we could say, the summer solstice is the longest day in the northern Hemisphere. Period. That's really what the article was about. 
and then restate the main idea of the prompt. What is the prompt saying? How people celebrate the longest year. So we want to take the words of the prompt and form a sentence. It's showing that we're on topic. It's showing that we know what we're writing about. What are we writing about? Um, so I'm going to take, so we could say people celebrate the solstice around the world in many ways. Because then in my paragraphs, I'm going to explain all of the different ways that they celebrate. So there's our plan. And then we would use this sentence, this sentence, this sentence, and these things become our first paragraph. That's our intro to our essay. We need to give the title author genre, showing that we understand what we're talking about, a 10 words or less summary of the article. Don't want a giant summary. I want quick, 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 just the basic information. And then I need to end it with words from the prompt because they are the so very much important. And these things together, they make a little mini intro paragraph and it's perfect.